Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dollar and I am very tired and I'm also getting very very sick So I'm gonna try to speed through this one as soon as I can as you can see by the title There's something we need to talk about but before we get to that There's even more stuff we need to talk about they just kind of dropped a bombshell I know you all want to see the feral form for Zandalari, but there's actually a lot more to look at so there's a lot of stuff for us to take a look at. The first one I want to take a look at is the obviously owned. These guys are definitely not guaranteed to be an allied race blizzard. The Mog Hard Totems. And they actually look really solid. And there's a lot more stuff too. But look at these totems, man. I don't think we've had good to good looking totems in a while. I think last totems that we've had that were really um, interesting. I mean, of course, you had the High Mountain Tauren with other totems. They're probably the newest. But the last totem I seen that was like a really interesting take on the same thing we've seen in the past it was the Goblin Totem. It's the uh, the drill that keeps drilling the ground and it's just like this machine and it just bouncing around. There's just smoke coming out of it. I actually like those a lot. But these look really high resolution and I was really surprised. I mean, they're basically just slight recolors of themselves and there's a frosty fire earth and wind effects to them but i love that horn logo at the very front there's no way these guys can be alliance if we do get the mock har and we should get the mock har the zandalari druid form cat form or cat form because this is least thing far from cats so we've seen the other forms of zandalari druids and this is their new cat form which I actually want to say is like a dinosaur raptor form. Almost like a uh, crocodile-y, wolf-like, uh, raptor-ish, four-legged dinosaur looking. This is definitely not a cat form. This is awesome. The fact that Blizzard is actually taking ideas like this. New bear form, new cat form, new boomkin form, new travel form, flight and ground. Like this really takes the idea of Zandalari and Druids to a whole nother level. It really breaks the mold of what they've stuck with. Everybody has a cat. Everyone has a bear. Everybody is a big old boom chicken, right? Everybody is a tree. And then, of course, in Legion with the challenge modes, they added that bear gorilla form, which really allowed people to play around with different like forms. Back in Warlords, while it wasn't the best expansion, we had the Shivara cat form. So it had like this Worgen-esque cat form. A lot of people were like, whoa, this is really different and cool. And of course, all the different forms bears and kitties got. This really does kind of give in a little bit more. This probably breaks like all types of lore because I remember talking to people in the past about it. And they were like, oh, it's always going to be cat. It has to be a feral. It has to be a cat. But here they're just like, nah, we're, I'm a dinosaur, dude. I am a dinosaur. I think these are great, man. I want to make a Zandalari druid. For the longest time, I want to make Zandalari shaman to basically recreate Zappy Boy. But now it has to be a druid. It has to be a druid, so I'm waiting for that. I think it looks great, and overall, I guess the only one that I find kind of weird is the Boomkin form. It's just the Arakoa and all their animations. That's going to be really weird to look at, because I always looked at those guys as NPCs. So to take that model and apply it as a, your regular Boom Chicken form is going to be different, definitely, definitely weird. But I think after a while of getting used to it, this is going to be one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Honestly, the Horde is winning the Allied race. If there is like some kind of a war or a competition between one and the other, Alliance on Horde, the Horde is definitely winning on allied races. I mean, look at the Zandalari alone. It doesn't matter if they have like two classes. They can just be shamans, warriors, hunters, rogues, and druids. Not said they can literally just be those guys, just five. But they probably can be like warlocks, maybe even priests. I mean, there actually is lots of possibilities. The fact that they got different druid forms, like Alliance, what do you guys get? I mean, Dark Iron Dwarfs are awesome. The, you guys got Blood Elves, that's pretty cool. I actually dig Lightforge Janai, but like. What do you really got? We got not only the Zappy Boy, we also got the different shape uh, shapeshifting boy. We got the Dino Boy. Uh, this is, I don't know, man. I uh, that, it must be the worst time ever to be Alliance at this point. You know what I mean? On the side note, they actually have upright Oryx and how they look. That scared the shit out of me, music-wise. They actually have upright Oryx and how they're supposed to look for uh, I guess the game as it comes out in BFA. This looks awesome and i'm pretty sure if you guys seen anybody on youtube there's one guy mr gm he has access to a bunch of files way ahead of everybody else he was able to showcase the walk-in animation by taking sorfang skeleton and kind of just controlling sorfang and walking around as him the animations for running and walking are definitely going to be weird for a lot of people to get used to and this is very very subtle this whole 
upright orc compared to hunched over is going to be very subtle and the biggest uh, change i see when they're walking around just them standing up straight it almost looks like they're a bit uncomfortable or they're trying to balance themselves because just the way their legs are designed they're not designed to look like you know you, you like a normal walking animation really there's still a little bit of that swag to the side but as soon as they start running as soon as the animations start kicking in it's hard to tell a difference but i think it's going to be awesome because there's a lot of orcs that want to play like this more wise or like the intellect shaman mage like they don't want to be like hunched over brutes all the time like I mean, that, that's what you're rocking with that's what you're rocking if you want to look uh, look, look like a straight up pumped up beefy ass gorilla you are more than welcome to look like a beefy ass gorilla but if we want to look like thrall just kind of kick it back a little bit be like hey man what's up I think it's awesome that they allow people to do that. And of course, they're gonna showcase the Dreno Orcs as well as how they look. Obviously, we're not getting those guys. Uh, Blizzard won't. Blizzard will say, oh, we are. there's no guarantee. But we all know. We all know. Finally, we have a few different talents coming out actually out of a bunch of classes. Let me dig into this real quick. Uh, receive a new talent Master Marksman, Double Tap, and Serrated Shots. That's pretty cool. Master Marksman. Double tap and serrated shots. Where are they? Double tap? Okay, wow, there's actually a bunch of them. So the first one is Master Marksman. Didn't update yet because it still has bombardment. Multi shot critical strikes cause three damage. Maybe that's the actual update for it later. Serrated shots, quick shots, critical strikes cause the target to bleed for an additional 50% of the target. Oh, that's pretty neat. Double tap. Uh, they didn't replace it quite yet, so not quite there. And then last one was serrated shots, double tap, master marksman. Hunter's mark, master marksman, master m -m 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 marksman. Fire mages also got a really needed change and you guys are going to be all super happy if you play fire. Pyroclasm, consuming hot streak has a 50% chance to make your next uh, non-instant cast pyroblast. Within 30, 15 seconds, deal 100% additional damage. They're basically adding a legendary effect into your talents and this legendary effect for fire mages like you if you had the lego you were showing you were doing damage if you didn't good luck <laughs> i mean it was just so kind of it was uh one of those good legos that i keep bringing up every single time i get a chance one of those legos that was actually broken for the game actually broken for the system so i'm glad they're actually getting rid of it and then searing touch i can almost guess exactly what that is scorch deals 200 percent more damage and is guaranteed critical strike when the target is below 30 percent health again another lego that just about every fire mage like needs like blizzard that's the biggest concern that a lot of people had with legos some of them had effects that were basically necessary for you to perform optimally so that is good the fact that they're becoming talents i feel like it's going to be weird to be competitive between firestarter and pyromaniac but that's awesome though firestarter for that uh, early game pyromaniac for that you know middle ground serum touch for the finisher it's hard to tell which one is going to be better but i think this one is going to edge the competition for the most part pyrochasm with meteor and kindling that's actually a competitive option i feel like because meteor is good for single target kindling is good for like the aoe situations but pyroclasm it's so specific like the, uh the kindling i feel like It'll be hard. I feel like it'll be Pyro Meteor or Pyroclasm for single target and Kindling for AoE. I hope it becomes more competitive in the future. Outlawrix have uh, had some tier 6, tier 7 uh, talent swap positions. What uh, talents are we talking about? Tier 6, tier 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, Loaded Dice, Slice and Dice, and Mark for Death are different compared to Alacrity, Cannibal Barge, and Killing Spree. So they didn't actually do anything to it. A lot of people have been asking me uh, what what are my thoughts on uh, you know what are my thoughts on outlaw it, is it enough changes or is it not enough I feel like it's way too early to tell but we'll see demonology warlock saw many talents reshuffled just reshuffled not an actual uh, not an actual big change because I'm super excited for demonology oh I, I think it's the talents like what's competitive with what right Riders demonic origin demonic strength or Riders or Scourge Wing. So you gotta choose between your Felguard. Oh, 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 right. Okay, so that's the first row is gonna be one. Then Doom, Power Saffron, and Demonic Calling. Huh. Okay, yeah, so they're doing a lot with these talents here. It's hard to tell exactly what the original one was, because I don't remember it off the top of my head. But yeah, they're definitely shifting around, like, the rows. I don't know if they're shifting around everything, everything, but we'll see. 
Anyway, this is everything I have so far. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below of everything you saw. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like. Like all my videos to reach a wider audience and grow my channel. You want to see some of the videos? 5521 duels, BFA updates, 735 updates for uh, World of Warcraft or simple discussions. Go ahead and hit subscribe. We put out two videos a day as well as... Oh man, I'm so sick. Oh Jesus, I'm not feeling good right now. And uh, hit the notification bell down below if you guys want to catch so some of the uh, live streams that we do. Today, by the time you see this video, should be an EU raid for Antorus. Should be doing that with the EU viewers, getting you guys some gear, trying to get myself a four piece as a because I'll be tanking that. Uh, and then Thursday is day off. I'm gonna need that. I'm, I cannot wait. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see all of you in the next one.